day. Uh, I'm going to just give a quick review on trading view tips. Number one, price correlation. And number two, the power of the three month chart. So I don't want to go over like technical analysis uh, as far as what it is. There are probably a thousand videos. So please, you know, look at many you know, good reviewed videos as far as many likes, many views. Those probably are good enough. This is more for the people who are advanced and want to just take it to the next level. So price correlation. I'm going to just show you what I am even meaning by that. So if you go to the top left, you can type in, you know, everybody knows S&P 500. All right. So here's my S&P 500 chart. Sorry about that. So here's the S&P 500 chart. And, you know, next we'll go Walmart. You know, just looking at our charts, our singular charts. But the cool way to find out if a stock is even worth investing in, we're going to chart it against the SPY. There is no reason to trade a stock if it's not outperforming the S&P 500. So let's go with a one that I have been recently disappointed in, Amazon. So we're going to go Amazon slash SPY. Now, I'm going to change it to the weekly chart to show you guys this trend. Now, this, this trend isn't bullish by any means. This is a downward trend, Amazon's price versus SPY. So this is something that really helped me in the markets. And I've even kind of switched from trading to position holding or swing trading. There should be no reason your account is red in a bull market. There is something wrong. And this is an aggressive bull market. So either the options aren't working or you're day trading too aggressively or so on. So that kind of just gives me an awareness that, hey, the relativeness of S&P 500. I should be either just investing in the S&P 500 or stocks outperforming the S&P 500. So uh, another cool way is finding out what to invest in as far as ETFs. So ARK has a lot of ETFs. And you want to know, you know, you understand the industry, but how is the market receiving it? Who has the strongest demand? So let's go ARK G versus ARK. KK, which is the flagship, so the genomics ETF versus the flagship ETF. We're going to see here, ARCG has been failing uh, recently, so we should not invest in ARCG. We should invest in ARCKK, just simply off of this chart. Who is trending higher? Let's go ARCW versus ARCKK. Wow, okay. So this one happens to have uh, is the internet ETF, and it's actually been bouncing pretty hard. I'm very sure that it's because of the Bitcoin um, that's in this ETF. So you could be like, hey, even though the overall trend is kind of a consolidation, this looks kind of choppy, so it's not a true trend difference. You can at least say from January on that it has been outperforming, so we should now invest in ARCW. Uh, I, this is pretty much all I wanted to go, give you on price correlation. Now I just want to give you the insight of the three month chart. So <laughs> this is crazy, right? This is a three month chart of ARC KK. And when you pull up a three month chart and see that it is this bullish, um, it just goes to show that every dip needs to be bought. On a daily, it may look terrible. It, the price may look terrible. But through looking at the three-day chart, you are pretty much guaranteed to make profit if you just have the patience. Um, so again, the three-month chart is good because everything really works on quarters. Um, companies report on a quarterly basis. Um, even if you want to look at just trading, it, it really is your su seasons, summer, spring, winter, fall, if you believe in seasonality, you know, it just, everything is really perfect with the three month chart and just goes to show you that after we broke in, uh, after April, 
or even yeah broke that previous high um, around in April, it's just been trending upwards. And we can see that every candle is bullish, but on the daily, on the way there, we had some dips. We had some dips. So right here, bought. Even if it broke the 10 and the 20 EMA, just keep buying every blue day. Right here, doesn't matter. It broke the 10 and the 20, it doesn't matter. It still held the 50 or close to the 50, you know? So thank y'all for tuning in. It really was just a quick video on price correlation whenever we get to chart um, different ETFs against each other or different stocks. You should not invest in a stock that is not outperforming the S&P 500 because you're better off putting your money in the S&P 500. Uh, and then finally, the power of the three month chart, looking at, you know, these crazy stocks going stupid up. I mean, if you see something like this, see though, see a three month chart and break its previous high, every dip should be bought. Going in on a closer look, there are many opportunities to buy. All those blue days pulling back into the 20 EMA, another 20 EMA test, even broke the 20 EMA, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. You're not being too particular. You just keep dollar cost averaging in on those pullbacks because, again, we look back and see stuff like this. You just keep injecting money. You, If you see the three-month trend break, then, hey, you need to get out. But until you see that three-month trend break on some easy macro plays, you're, gonna, you're really going to win. Uh, so thank you all.